Okay, we're gonna go through how you unbag it and unscreen your nook. Now, with the top still screwed on, you can set it back. And pull it down. There you go. We just took it out of the bag earlier. I'm going to show you how to take the screws out that are located in the lid here and also how to pull the screen. A little smoke. Pull the screen. Now for taking the screws out, just use that Phillips head screwdriver if you prefer you can take them all the way out There you go. Close it back up until you're ready to put it in your. So you're ready to hive your nook. We got our brand new bee equipment we got from Man Lake. All set up. It's got the lid, fancy lid, the inner cover. We took the time and we stained the. Uh, Two boxes, the lid and the the outside of the uh, bottom board. So for setting up your nook, you don't need this box at all. You're gonna take this and put it in for storage until a later time. Mainly, you're gonna be just using the bottom box, the bottom board, the inner cover, and the lid. Basically what your nook will look like after you put it in. We're going to carry this over to our nook. Alright, so we have our brand new box here. And uh, we want to get ready to put our nook in. So we're going to take out six frames. Set them right here next to the hive. And then we want to leave the space in the middle. And leave the empty frames on the outside because your nook is going to go right in the center of this. Now, getting ready here. We've already taken the time, as I said before, to take out the screws that would normally be in here. And the screen has been pulled. We pulled the screen last night when we got the bees here. So I give a little smoke. Get the lid on there tight. The first thing you can do Kind of smoke this. A few bees in there. Set that off to the side. You don't need to bang them off all yet until you get some comb in there. Now what you want to do is go from the outside in so that you don't roll the queen. So the first frame you want to pull is either on the far outside left or far outside right. I'm going to pull this one right here. Nice and easy. Take a quick look for the queen. She's not there. And then for the next few frames, you're gonna just push them over a little bit so that you make sure not to roll the queen. See that we got a real nice queen. She's got a real nice brood pattern.
Now she's not on either that I could see on any of these frames. You don't want to spend too much time looking for her. You will just kind of, kind of do what you need to do and you can find her later. I may have just missed her. I don't see her in the box here, so I'm going to go ahead and just give these a little smoke. You can see there's a few bees left in there. I'm just going to smoke them down a little bit. Just a night, not a, too hard, but just kind of tap them. Give them a sec to go down. you want to just gently, you want to push this frame over, the key to this, not rolling the queen, so you push this outside frame over, and you slide this frame in here, as to not roll the queen, or accidentally kill her. Then you can kind of space them out evenly, they don't have to be real tight. Just kind of give them a little room. So, then you grab your inner cover, smoke them down a little bit. Now you can see there's a little bit of confusion flight, but they'll have no problem finding their uh, their new home because they use their scents and they'll smell their hive is now inside this box and they'll go right into it. Probably want to just take these frames in this box. You can put your unused frames in the nuke box for storage until you want to until they draw out your home. this side of the area because this box still has some of their scent on it. <laughs> 